your head because he's coming into the head shot. But it's going to be like that. So don't think about it as pushing your arm out. It's a flick with the top of the stick. So the hand, you've obviously lunged out like that. It's like that. It's a flick of the top of the stick. And the hand, the elbow pulls in like this. And see the angle. It's out that way. Don't have your angle this way because that you know, could slip over and then he's going to come back into something this way. So keep it that way so it bumps again. The whole idea of this, there's his stick there. Just hold it there. Yeah. Yeah. The whole idea of this is the same principle in that I'm not trying to go... I don't want to push his stick away. I want to, I want to do that to his stick because that's his wrist. You're always thinking if you're hitting a stick, you're hitting a wrist. So that's really a knife coming in and I'm going, I don't want to push his wrist. That's not going to do anything to him. I want to get from here... That sort of pressure on his wrist or on his knuckles, then there's no way anyone's going to still be holding a knife if you whack that across his wrist. So just keep that in mind. That's, that's your shape, like that. It's going to be like as if you're just sliding down the stick. That's the, that's the positioning you come into, just sliding down the stick. No outward force whatsoever. But because you do it violently, it's got that flick on the end. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. You get that little slap on the end of the wound. So just, yeah, that's the movement you want to finish with.